Welcome back to Book Break. Today we have come to London Zoo and we are celebrating the new release of a new edition of a childhood favourite, The Jungle Book. So today I wanted to come to the zoo and spend a bit of time with some of the animals in this book, including several characters I bet you've never heard of before. And I'm here all thanks to ZSL, the Zoological Society of London, who are an international conservation charity working to create a world that takes better care of our wonderful wildlife. They've been investigating the health threats facing animals worldwide, as well as coming up with solutions to help humans and animals live more peacefully alongside each other, and they're totally committed to bringing animals back from the brink of extinction. I will put their link in the description so you can visit their amazing zoos and read all about their wonderful work. So fans of the Disney movies will already remember Mowgli, and Shere Khan the tiger, and Ka the snake. Shere Khan is definitely one of the scariest characters in the Jungle Book, but these animals are just completely magnificent. And in the wild, Sumatran tigers are estimated to be as low as 300 individuals left. So ZSL have been working in Sumatra for the last 16 years to help protect these amazing animals. So now I'm going to go into the reptile house to have a look at some pythons just like Carr and even a king cobra. London Zoo was actually the first zoo to ever build a reptile house and they built it in 1849. And this one I'm about to go into was built in 1926. And it houses everything from snakes to lizards to even frogs and crocodiles. But did you know there are so many more characters in the original book that never made it to the movie? Mowgli isn't even the main character of the Jungle Book. He's actually only in three of the original seven stories. So today I'm going to tell you a few of my favourite stories that never made it to the movie. Now Kotick the seal story is a bit unexpected because he doesn't live in the jungle, obviously, because he's a seal. So Kotick is the only white furred seal on his whole island. So all of the humans are terrified of him and think that he's a ghost. But when he sees some of his friends being captured and killed by the humans for their fur, he's absolutely terrified and sets off on a years long mission to find a new island that is safe where the humans will never come. And today, seals can actually be seen in central London locations like Canary Wharf on the Thames. And ZSL runs a Thames and Marine Mammal Conservation Program. One of my favourite stories in the Jungle Book is Ricky Tikki Tavi. And Ricky Tikki Tavi is a mongoose who lives with a family and sleeps in the bed with the young boy Teddy. But the garden that the family live in is full of terrifying snakes, including two black cobras. And the cobras form a rivalry with Ricky Tikki Tavi, so they come up with a plan. If they kill the humans that look after Ricky Tikki Tavi, he will have to leave and the garden will be theirs again. But luckily, Ricky Tikki Tavi overhears this plan, and so he and his other friends that live in the garden, including a very cunning bird, come up with a plan to defeat the snakes. And here I've got some mongoose behind me here, and they are so cute! Weirdly, there are no lions in the jungle. Book. So you might think of them as just an African animal, but actually ZSL has been home to Asiatic lions for many years and they're here as part of a European breeding program to increase their numbers in the wild. And finally I'm going to tell you about Tumai of the Elephants. Now Tumai of the Elephants is a human, he's a little 10 year old boy who wants to grow up and follow in his family's footsteps and become master of the elephant. But the chief tells him that he's far too young and he has to wait until the day that he sees the elephants dance. Well you can guess what's going to happen here, little Tumai actually has an elephant pal, Carla Nag, who has belonged to their family for generations. So one night he follows Carla Nag and finds where the elephants dance. Today, Asian elephants are classified as endangered due to human conflict, habitat loss and poaching. And so ZSL are doing a lot of work in Thailand to ensure that humans and elephants can coexist peacefully, just like Tumai of the Elephants would have wanted. So if you only ever watched the movies, you did miss out on a lot, but don't worry, you can catch up with it all in this edition because it's all included in here, alongside other poems and short stories that Rudyard Kipling wrote. It's got gorgeous illustrations throughout it, as well as a glossary at the beginning that teaches you some of the words and how to pronounce them. And it's so shiny! Now the Jungle Book isn't the first time that beloved characters have failed to make it to the big screen. Think about Winky and Peeves in Harry Potter, Katniss's best friend Madge in The Hunger Games, and did you know in Wizard of Oz, Glenda wasn't the only good witch. There was also another good witch named Tatty Poo, so I can see why they left her out of the movie. So leave me a comment below with your favourite book character that never made it into the movie, and do give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and of course hit that subscribe button because we post new videos every Thursday. And next week we're off to Norwich for a historical tour to see it through the eyes of the characters from CJ Sansom's new book, Tombland. See you next time!